Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll talk about parallel resonance. And this is the circuit, and it shows uh, three elements in parallel. And this is the uh, voltage wave shape. And uh, we'll see the details about this wave shape. Now, the admittance of the circuit, which is also the transfer function h omega, is given by i over v. We know that impedance is v over i, so admittance is i over v. And it can be written as the inverse of all the elements, so it is 1 over r plus 1 over uh, 1 over j omega c, so that will become j omega c and plus 1 over j omega l. And from here, uh, if we take j omega common, then this will become omega c, and this will become, actually, we are dividing by j when we are taking common, so this will become j square, and j square will become minus 1, so that is why we get a minus sign here. So minus 1 over omega l. And as we saw in case of a series, same here, that the resonance will occur when the imaginary part of y becomes 0. So this is the imaginary part of y. So when this becomes 0, that means this becomes 0 at resonance. And so we can say that the resonance frequency omega naught, if you, if you just move it on the other side and then take omega on one side and LC on the other side, then omega naught will be 1 over under root LC. And we, as uh, we discussed earlier also, this formula is only applicable for either series circuit or parallel circuit, but not for series parallel combination. We will see this in the next video. And again, uh, as before, we can find the bandwidth. So this is the bandwidth, which is omega 1 minus omega naught. So this length is the bandwidth. Omega 2 minus omega 1, sorry. Uh, and then that is equal to 1 over RC. And also the quality factor Q can be found. I'm not going into the details of the derivation. You can see in your book. Q is omega naught over B. And omega naught and plugging this value of b, so it will become omega naught uh, rc. It can also be written as r over omega naught l, so we saw this uh, earlier also. And just to give you an idea, the comparison between the series parameters and the parallel parameters, uh, the frequency formula is same, bandwidth formula is same, uh, high power frequencies same formula, High power frequencies for Q greater than 10, same formula. The only difference is here, the Q factor formula, in case of a series, it is omega naught L over R. Here it is inverse of that, so R over omega naught L, and same, uh, you get inverse of this here. So this is the only difference. Now let's solve uh, one or two examples. These parameters are given. We have to calculate omega naught and the uh, Q factor and uh, bandwidth B. Also, we have to find the upper and lower frequencies and determine power dissipated at these three frequencies. So, just a straight away plug in, omega naught is 1 over under root LC, plugging in the values of L0.2 millihenry and capacitor 8 microfarad, and solving, we get the answer to be 25 kilo radians per second. Now Q is R over omega naught L, again plugging in the values of all the terms. Uh, and remember this is 25 kilo, so we have to write 25 into 10 raised to the power 3. So we get an answer of uh, 1600 Q. Bandwidth we can calculate from this formula, plugging in the value of omega naught and Q, bandwidth comes to be 15.625 radians. 
Now, uh, to find omega 1 and omega 2, we're just plugging again the form, uh, values in the formula. Omega naught is B over 2. So, plugging in the values, we get the upper and lower uh, uh, frequencies. Then, to dissip power dissipation, we first find at omega naught and at omega naught, y is 1 over r. From here, this gets, gets cancelled. And from here, we can write z to be uh, 1 over y, which is r, which is 8 kilo. And then we find current, v over z. The v is, uh, this is 10 sine omega t. I hope you have learned by now uh, how to write 10 sine into uh, phasor form. So this will become actually 10 sine omega t will become 10 cos omega t minus 90. And then once it is in cos form, then we can write in phasor form. So the phasor will be 10 and angle minus 90 divided by z. So this is the current. And to find power, we just take the magnitude of this current, so 1.25 milliampere. And the formula is half I naught square R, uh, average power. So plugging in the value of current and R, 6.25 milliwatt is the power at omega is equal to omega naught. Now we have learned that the other two frequencies are actually half power uh, frequencies. So the power at these two frequencies can be simply found by dividing by 2. So 6.25 divided by 2 gives 3.125 milliwatt of power. The practice problem, exactly similar way. We find the value of omega naught by plugging in the values. We calculate Q, calculate bandwidth, and since Q is greater than 10, therefore we use the shortcut formula to find omega 1. So plugging in the values, we get omega 2 and uh, omega 1 and omega 2.